Yo, what's going on everybody? It is your boy John from the I'm Scared Duo and we're out here playing Pokemon Song Log and this is the episode that I was worried about. We didn't make as much progress as fast as I anticipated and so because of that we are we're in a bit of a bind. Um, let's go over the team because the team did make and have some major adjustments. And I think that if we actually kind of negotiate and look at this team, we can kind of figure out kind of some things that we have to determine. So we have our boy, Draco Malfoy with Relax Nature. With Headbutt, Dual Chop, Fly, and Crab Hammer. Decent move set. I, I, I really hope that Malfoy decides that he wants to be a good Pokemon because I feel like he he had the possibilities and potential of that. Then we have Jolly Roger, which you guys can't even see the names of the stuff. That's the Florian. We love when I do that. It's the best. There we go. I was like, as soon as I recognized it, I was like, no, 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 no. At least I recognized it pretty dang fast. But yeah, Jolly Roger has Razor Shell, which is not a good move. Aurora Beam, Frost Breath, and Icy Wind. Frost Breath is a kind of carryover to the next generation move if we make him get there. Uh, hopefully we do, but I'm not 100% sure if we can. Then we have Siren with Surf, Giga Drain, Water Pledge, and Soak. We have Oogle Blip with Arrow Blast, Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, and Mist Ball. Literally all the ball moves. That's, that's great. We love it. I mean... Well, there is, there's got to be another one. But anyway, then we got Jonas with Swords Dance, Metal Claw, Cross Chop, Brick, Break. And we have no name who we cannot use in these next two fights, which is going to make things a little bit difficult. He did get over the level cap um, because of the way the cap works in this game. It's, I, I, it was rough. It was very rough. That's why you see that Jolly Roger and Malfoy are not white like leveled up the way you would assume that they would be they're like they're not matching the team and that's why time to fight chloris welcome welcome i was asked to be an acquaintance to help with this research what a desire is to bring out the entity and or the entirety of the most potential if i can accomplish that i don't care what it takes i'm gonna beat you so hard that it's gonna be a blessing in disguise because you'll go back to Sinnoh for the next time. That aside, the reason I traveled all the way to Unova was battling many Pokemon trainers and it's because I was testing the viability of this approach to bring in the full potential of Pokemon and that I respect that you've done an amazing job. Well now, if you have the answer I desire not, be ready to come at me. I not, but I kind of have to. I don't have a choice. Oh boy. What are we, we, are we gotta lead off with our mens, right? Yeah, we do. There's there's no questions. No questions about that. I don't think we even got ourselves set up when it comes to items on our... Oh, Draco Plate. There we go. I was like, I don't think we got ourselves set up, but... An Icicle Plate. Okay, I mean, we have a lot of... We have the plates for them, so that's what we're gonna give them first. We have a Lucky Egg that we can pawn off to one of these mons. But I don't feel like it's worth it at the current moment in time. I don't want to risk over-leveling. <gasps> okay. I I really don't want to risk this over-leveling, but... Sorry, I just noticed something and it bugged me. I don't think I can fix it. No. There we go. I did fix it. Woo! Okay, a, gro a drought Gengar is the first thing we get to see come out. Also, you guys can already probably already saw what bugged me, and I'm sure people are very happy I'm catching on to some of this stuff <laughs> because wow. I, I saw that and was like, ugh. Immediate ugh moment. Perfect. That's better. But we got a Drought Gengar to start off. And I'm not the most upset about that. I'm going to... I'm going to dual chop it. I think that's my best play. Attack it while I can. 
Oh, we're not gonna get it. We're not gonna get the kill. Oh, Shadow Claw, that's fine. That should be okay. That should be okay. Okay, I have to be like on major focus mode though because this has the potential of being a problem. This, this entire fight sequence has a possibility of being an issue. And I can't let I can't let this fight sequence be an issue. You guys already get to kill two, yes, count them, two Pokemon. Um, so that's already enough death to like survive the entirety of the universe. So like, I have to be careful. I have to be like, this This is the utmost importance of carefulness. Um, hmm. Not being able to use no name here is not good. It, it, it's a big damper. It puts a big damper on what I, cause that's immediately who I want to go into. And I can't, I literally cannot. No name would have been the total option. I should have not. I took a risk and it did not pay off. It did not pan out. I think, I think if I'm not allowed to use. Yeah, that I would agree. If I'm not, I would, I'm agreeing with myself. If I'm not allowed to use. Um, that then sirens the play here. I, I I don't like it particularly, but sirens the play here. It's better than like being absolutely bopped by other things. Air balloon wheezing. Are you kidding me? He came packing with an air balloon on his wheezing. Are, like what the absolute. Frankadoodle? Um, I don't approve of that message. Um, oh gosh. Okay, Siren's faster, Siren's faster. This does at least 30%, please. Ah, oh, just not do anywhere close to that. And this can do up to 120 damage a pop. 70. Oh, that's so bad. It does one to one. Po no, one. No, it's one to 1.5 times. Which means I have to, I can't, I have to heal. That, that's, regardless, I have to heal. But, it's 1 to 1.5. I gotta remember that. It's not 1 to 2 times, as my brain is trying to make it sound like it's 1 to 2 times. Because, of course, why not? Because be stressed about things you don't have to be stressed about. That's a life in general. Um, but. Low roll. Get that low roll. Get that low roll. Keep it low. Keep it low. Keep it low. Keep it low. I live. Okay. I I guarantee live one of these. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a hard read. I'm gonna soak. This doesn't. It, the stab does not matter on Sludge Wave, but Sludge Wave cannot crit, and its max damage is 90. It got a low roll. Okay. It got, it got a low roll. I need to stop speeding up because this, this, I like this theme a lot. It's like, a lot of people love this theme a lot and I'm over here ruining it by tapping the speed up button. I, I don't know how I feel about him just sending out the ace and being all gung ho about it. I forgot to move to poison. So I took an even bigger rest than I thought. Oh my God, poison does 20. I, I'm not, no. If Poison's doing that much, I'm full restoring. I don't, I have, I, I, if Poison is going to do 20 damage to Siren, no. I don't care if you high roll here. You, you've you got to at some point. You got a couple low rolls in there. You got a min roll. Wow, okay. I mean, I'll dig a drain. That, 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 that'll heal me right there. Okay. Plus it's super effective right now. That should actually heal me up close to full. Siren, you're tanking. I mean, I get that you're not really tanking because this is a set damage remove, but Siren, you're doing, you are doing what you need to do and I cannot complain. I have no room to complain because you're actually doing your job right now. And I appreciate the fact that you're doing your job, but oh gosh, like, 
I would not like if, if you were to tell me like I I was joking and talking up Cedra, and if you were actually going to tell me that Cedra was going to be this imperative to the run, I would tell you you're freaking lying. There's no way, and it's just like yeah, there's a way. It, it's proving its point right here. Like it is it is the oldest team member. If that is literally think enough. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was complaining and freaking out to my friends the other day that Frost Breath was 40 base power and that they had buffed it to 70 base power in a previous, in ne the next generation. Crit their double damage. So that's actually 80 base power. So that's stronger than Aura Beam. Brain intact. Thank goodness. I need, what I need to do is I need to get a zoom lens, though. That is what I need to get, because... if I Because it's 90 accuracy in this game, where it's uh, 100 in uh, other other iterations. So, I need to make sure I keep track of that area dose. Another mod I would have sent No Name in for. Ugh. No Name's utility is showing. I'm going into Malfoy, though. Like, the newbies are going to get some use today. The newbies are going to get some use today. That I, I, I under-leveled them and kept them low, so that way they could get some use. And the, so, at least my my plan is working to perfection in that regard, so far, anyways. Um, Because, oh, that could literally just change in a heartbeat. But, if, you know what? You, know, you, you never know. Um... But with Salamence, I figured with Salamence's high attack and the special bulk of um, Cryogonal, it was the best choices for the team right now. Because special bulk is something that our team has been lacking in, and it's very lackluster. And and was something that uh, Lopany, our clickbait, actually helped us out a lot with. <sighs> Can I see the summary of Jonas before sending it out? Oh, Jonas is not near 61. Yes. Okay, Jonas can be sent in. We're fine. Cool. I needed to make sure Jonas did not get to 61 because Getsis is also level 60, which means that Getsis also has the same level cap, which is so grand and amazing that he has the same level cap as freaking Chloris. But that's besides the point. We're going to freaking... I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna Brick Break. I got, this is something with this, with Jonas, I gotta remember. Brick Break will do a lot of damage because of its high special attack stat. Proof in the pudding. It, O-Code. Like, Conkelder's got attack up the wazoo as well. Like, I have to remember that. Because I don't need to take the unnecessary risks that I think I do. Because with Conkelder, I'm like, oh, got a cross chop. Because I'm, I'm so used to it. It's like high base power, it's fine. But good luck in your battle with Kiram. I don't want to fight it. Straight up, don't want to fight it. But do I have to heal her? Yeah, I have to be the one that heals. Good, 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 good. I caught that. I was like, I, I just needed to double check because I was like, I feel like it makes sense to make me be the one that heals after that fight because why would I don't understand why in the newer games like the evil villains are like yeah let me heal you real quick it's like but in what world would they actually do such you beat Chloris oh, what I pretended to be strong I don't have any bug bye okay that blasted Chloris the fool is far too committed to pure science. This is how he repays me for making him boss of Team Plasma. How dare he put his personal intellectual curiosities before our ultimate mission of conquering Unova. How fortunate for you. Few get to be a sole audience member of one of my speeches. Team Plasma will use its knowledge and technology to take Kiram's true power to the absolute limit and freeze the Unova region. How terrified people and Pokemon will bow at Team Plasma's no at my own feet. Unfortunately, I don't get to fight you yet. Kiram's an empty being, the remnants of a certain Pokemon when it's split into Reshiram and Sekra. My desires may absolutely rule of Unova. 
that's right here will be the vessel in which I get to do my bidding. Okay. Shadow Triad, I love you, but like, I don't want to fight you right now. I have somebody way more important to go fight. Oh. How do you do that to Gonzo? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me. You just did that to Gonzo. You're just like, you know, I stole this from your sister five years ago. And that was a great day for me. Even though it was like the worst day of your life for your sister. Like, that just brings back old, like that, that in and of it, that just brings back older brother vibes. Oh my God. I mean, that's something that older brothers will understand. Uh, so yeah, it's like, it's like, don't, don't, it's like, don't pull out that. Don't pull that. Like, we, that that would make me want to beat you up uh, straight up um also i just realized i got a fly and got rid of that scenario but it's a sky attack it's from a crowbat it's gonna hurt massively and i still can't use the sky attack flinch or do you have the king's rock sky attack's gotta flinch right Sky Tag has to have the ability to flinch. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be peeved. Something's going on. Oh, look at that! My team actually decided that we might have a chance. Okay, cool. Anyway, that was besides the point. Sky Attack, Pokemon. So I know a Sky Attack is coming. I'm gonna heal just to play it safe. We missed, it, or it missed, excuse me. Sky attack. This should kill, I'm more worried about what it does. 30% chance to flinch, dang! So it's got iron head levels of flinch potential? Okie dokie then, I guess that's what happens literally got sky attack oh my gosh i'm just just kill this thing oh my gosh it's a crowbat i get that i flame on crowbat all the time but you don't have to do this you don't have to flinch confuse me <laughs> wow that face i think that was the most upset face i think i've ever made on this channel wow okay i just looked over for one second and that my, that was just such an upset face. Ep like, wow, okay. Doesn't person bear heal confusion? It does. How how do I want to play this though? I'm gonna play it safe and just full restore. I've got the I've got I straight up have the money to burn in terms of this game, so it's gonna be okay. I, I have I have the ability to to not take a risk. Oh my you straight up played the confusion knowing I was going to do that. You have three mods. This is your first one. Chill, dude. You don't have to do this to me. I mean, you kind of do because Gets us literally told you you had to. But you don't have to. You're just choosing to be annoying. Malfoy level 59. Alakazam. I'm choosing Oogle Blip. I'm choosing Oogle Blip on this. This could be a bad choice, but we'll find out. Oogle Blip is barely level 59. I could be using Oogle Blip a lot more than I am. Shadow Ball is super effective. That's going to be better. Confusion should do like, I'm going to say 24 points of damage. Oh, that's a lot more than 24 points of damage, but okay. I guess, oh, fine then. But you know what? You you only hit with confusion. I should be okay. <sighs> Oogle Blip takes that. We take that with an Oogle Blip. I, I will definitely take that uh, with Oogle Blip because Oogle Blip has not seen the light of day for a while. Dusk Noir. I'm, I'm choosing Siren. I'm choosing Siren here. Siren... They, uh, actually, I have a funny story with Dustnor. So, um, I was talking to somebody, um, like, probably over a month ago at this point, And they wanted to um, have a Dustnor, right? 
And I told them, I was like, you know that water or like Eviolite dust in the water or uh, dust, dust blocks is better, right? Like it just in a lot of statistical categories, it, it does its job more effectively than what dust Nor would do. Um, but yet, it, they were like, no, I don't want that. That's like, it doesn't make sense, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you can usually have the EV. It just murdered itself, didn't it? <laughs> I turned it into a water type and it cursed. That's an OP play right there. That, you know what? I gotta give it. I, I have to give this Dust Door street cred, okay? I was just flaming a person for saying the Dust Door is way better than this. But this man just straight up said, you know, if you want to give me that water typing, I can just increase my attack real quick. Wow. Okay. We're playing this way. We, I, if, if we're playing this way, it's fine. I just was not ready for it. I'm just sitting here like, oh, we're fine. We're chill. It's okay. And it's like, John, no, it's not, but, you know, you can pretend it is if you want to. Uh, we beat this dude. Oh, wait, there's more? No, there better not be. What? Oh, I found the guy up top. That's what happened. Okay, I was like, oh my god. This, this is not good. This is, the, dude, we're fighting, we're fighting just power and more power and more power just every five seconds right now. I've got to hit, I've got to go for the, and again, being capped with freaking, I got to go for the dual chop because it's a Dragonite. It's going to slap freaking um our cryagonal um super effective against jonas and no i i can't i can't bear to risk malfoy right now i, I couldn't do it i i can't do it that's i it just genuinely i cannot do that um i'm seeing a draco meteor roar of time siren Good freaking job, Siren. Okay. Well, one, since you're going to not be able to freaking hit a move, uh, go ahead and uh, make sure that you uh, don't have stab on that anymore, please. I, I I would appreciate that. And then now we heal because if it wants to go, if it wants to double dip and it wants to do it again, I mean, that's fine. Siren, you're proving so much right now, but that's at, like... Siren proving as much as it is, is like both good and bad in so many regards. Because it's it's good because I'm surviving the Nuzlocke. And it's bad because it's legit putting itself on the freaking death pole right now. It's literally shoving itself on the stake. And I'm just like, <laughs> but like, I love you, Siren. Like, I don't want you to be shoved on the freaking stake. Um, but, I mean, it's willingly putting itself there. It has color change. It has color change, so I didn't have to waste a turn on soak. Like, okay. <laughs> Naturally, right? But it should be dead, right? I mean, I mean, kind of the color change kind of helped, though. Actually, now that I think about it, because it allowed us to kill the thing without hit, risk of him healing. So that actually did a good thing. Victory belt. Okay. That I will be okay with sending in Malfoy in. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm actually sending in Roger. I want to... I, I need to calc check. Like... Because when you go against wild Pokemon, it's a big difference than calc checking, like, this kind of situation. Like, I want to know how much Frost Breath is actually going to do against the Victory Bell. Because Victory Bell is tankier than, uh, Lilligan. 
That's 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 the that's the knowledge. That's the knowledge I need right there, buddy. That's the knowledge. Oh, okay, that is some key knowledge. Keynote knowledge. Typhlosion. Pfft, nope. Um, get back out here, Siren. <laughs> Keep proving your worth. Apparently, you know you just gotta prove all your worth today. Um, yeah. At least, you know what? If Siren's going out, at least Siren's gonna go out with a bang, right? Like, it, if she's gonna just take care of everything, and she's gonna do it, she's gonna prove her worth, she's gonna tell the universe that, you know, she's a god. Like, at least she's telling the universe she's a god and then dying, rather than dying because she thought she was a god, right? Like, there's a difference, because if chat kills her, like, if you guys kill her, because she was a god and took care of things today. It so be it. It didn't die to the Nuzlocke. But, I mean, I'm I, honestly, I'm proud about keeping a freaking, like, Seedra this long, though. Like, I, I can't not be proud of that, you know? Like, this Pokemon, I, I honestly, if I were to be 100% honest, I don't think people would have expected Siren to stay alive. I don't think y'all thought... Like, if you guys thought Pokemon that would be alive. I thought you were just going to fight me when I walked past. But okay. If you guys thought that a Pokemon was not going to be alive, I figured you would think that, like, you know, that Siren would have died already. Like, Siren is probably, like, off the radar of Pokemon. Oh, well, I know how I'm killing this thing. That was obvious. Thank you for making it that obvious. Um, But yeah, like, I... I Charizard and I have deliberated a little bit, but it's more so I'm very curious about what you guys are going to kill, um, and I have no indication this time, which is odd because I'm like, I'm so used to being like, okay, you're probably going to kill X, Y, or you're going to kill X so I can do Y, and, I'm, and I, I can't do that. I don't have that. I don't have those indications, and um, and th that not only that, it's like I have gets this that I have to fight, and it's just like, how am I going to do that? How am I going to take care of it? What am I going to do? Also, Luxray. I hate... Luxray right now with a burning passion, but I'm gonna fight it with uh, Ooga Boop. I don't actually don't actually hate it, but it it, it it got a kill. It claimed kills, okay? So I can be I can be a little bit mad at it. I know that it has a, a grass move, grass knot, so I can be mad at it for having that bolt switch. I can see a third pawn. I'm not opposed to that. <clears throat> Electros. Oh, it's another Electro type. This one's a lot more bulky, though. So this one probably gets like half. Yeah. I'm like, I know Electros is bulky. Like, 100%. Electros bulky as heck. But Luxray will come back out. Um. Luxray's got a... Is it going to Volt Switch again? Yeah. It's, I mean, if it wants to do that, it doesn't matter. Because we know we murder it. Also, I actually... I didn't forget that it had Speed Boost. But I realized that it didn't die. Oh, great. I mean, it doesn't matter, though. Because we just kill it with another Energy Ball and we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, we're chill. We can just skip over this. But Oogle hit 60. Okay. You gotta stop that, Kiram. I know, buddy. I want to. But I'm not getting the best of Lux right now. Luck is not on my side, and uh, we're having a dangerous fight where I can't use my Steel type. This is like. One of, if not, a top five scary moment for me right now. Like, straight up, this fight, it has major implications. You guys are killing two Pokemon, which means I need at least half my team alive.
half my team has to be alive at the end of this fight. It's happening. And I don't have a Master Ball for this either. Sorry, I'm being, I'm being quiet because I'm nervous. I'm massively nervous right now. Oh, like... This... Could be... The fight of Sogwalk. And... In... The thing is, is like in Black and White 1... Getz's fight just means that you're moving on, right? Getz's fight is the champion fight. It's like routine. It's like anything else. In black 2 and white 2, this fight is a run killer. And to have a big run killer fight this far into a Nuzlocke is sketch as all heck. And it could this could go horribly right, or horribly wrong, or amazingly right. And I am still unable to utilize... Our steel type. And that is a big problem, right? Not being able to use our steel type means that our po poison is a problem. Other, cause, which it otherwise wouldn't be. Wh that's the scare. Poison is what it shouldn't be as far as issues and problems go. But it, we're out here. We have to do the job. We have to murder this thing, because I think we have to. I don't think we have the opportunity to catch it. It is exactly what I thought it was going to be. Not not the Pokemon, but the way that it was structured. So that that gives me hope. Naturally, you toxic. It's it's okay though. It's it's okay. Because dual chop should just like do a lot. It's a Deoxys after all. I don't care about it. We already have enough psychic types. It's fine. It can go away. It can it doesn't have to exist. We're fine. We murdered it. That's fine. That's what we needed. Okay. You don't get healed either. Crap, so that toxic actually stays. Ah. That's a big that's a big blow to the team. If the fact that toxic actually stayed will be him. Oh gosh. Okay. I don't have my dark I don't have my dark type anymore. I don't have Curious anymore. That would have been an instant Oh, we do get healed. Okay. That would have been an instant swap to Curious. I hope y'all know. That would have been an instant swap to Curious, and Curious would have taken care of this. But no, Curious had died last episode because of course Curious did. Um, and my, I can't even use my resist to this Pokemon. Um, that has a super effective attack. Oh god, okay. Great start. It's frail. I'm seeing frailty, which means I should. I, I need to go on the offensive. Just Malfoy, you cannot miss. 
Okay, seeing frailty was right. Light screen. Oh, you set up. No, you actually led a setup, Mon. Are you kidding me? Leftovers? Bro! Why? I mean, I think you probably come with leftovers normally on that mob line. My golly gee, Whitaker's Batman. Okay, the game's down. I didn't take any damage, but a light screen is up, which means special moves are going to be really difficult to deal with or like to, to throw at. So no special bulk. Yes. Okay. I should be faster. Cryagonal is a fast Pokemon. It better be faster. Come on, Cryagonal. I, you're going to crit through the screen. It's going to be okay. Your Frost Breath is literally going to save your life right now. Okay? If you did not have Frost Breath, you would not be sent in right now. But you have Frost Breath. It's 40 base power. Guaranteed to crit. Goes through the screen. You're faster and you should kill this. It's easy. Uh, easy clap. You should easy clap this. That's why I have you on the team. Mm. Yes! Okay. Oh my god. Okay, that's two down. Two, two down, three to go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Parasect. That's fine. That's fine. Malfoy, get out here. Do your job, buddy. Yes! You got the newbies and siren shining this episode. It's... We, like, we couldn't use our... We can... Like, after this battle, I can start using no name again. So no getting that option opens up. I'm flying. That's what you do. You fly, you kill the parasite. Is that ace? Did I say six? Did I see 60? I saw 60. Oh my golly gee Whitakers. This is going, this is going the way I need it to. This is, this is the monumental. This is going where it needs to go. What it needs to do. This is a long episode and I, I apologize, but also don't because oh my gosh, this episode, but that's dead. That's, there's no way it survives. Okay. That's another quad resisted kill or quad effective kill. Okay, keep it going, 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 keep it going. Okay. Light screen's gone. And Togekiss comes out. Um. Hmm. Togekiss is a little bit of a pain. Not gonna front. But I can send in Jolly Roger, and that's what I'm gonna do. Jolly Roger special bulk is great. This is hopefully gonna be a special Togekiss. But. It, it will live one frost breath. Get pretty much, I, I would say pretty much guaranteed it lives a frost breath. Especially when we miss. You didn't attack. It didn't punish. It, did, it didn't punish. It didn't punish. It didn't punish. I gotta go for it again. It didn't punish. Okay. It should have punished. I don't know why you went for a heal bow when you literally have no status ailments. But okay. The crit was guaranteed, so I don't care about it. You are going for heal. Are you choice heal bell? You're, you're, you can't be. You cannot be a choice scarfer. There's no way. But we're not gonna ever. Oh, we, we might get to know. I use frost breath again because I might as well at that point. Like if, if, if I have to stall out the uh, heals, I, I, I will go for it. Okay. It didn't it didn't okay we, we I mean the super fact that we're fine we're good okay last mon last mon what is it Nido Queen that's the one that is the one the one typing that I don't like fighting and it's bulk Nido Queen probably is gonna be one that hits us physically. I think this is the I think this is gonna be Siren's last fight. That's I think it's Siren's last fight. Not because of the fact that Siren's gonna die here. No no no. It's the fact that you guys are gonna kill Siren here. I'm pretty sure. Slow start. Oh my gosh. I am so my luck is turning around. That should not have happened, but okay, I'm gonna live with it because this is gonna do more than half. And uh, yeah, okay, we, we got this. 
and you sludge wave. You tap. So wait, that negated slow start actually. That's an interesting move, like in interesting move combination. Now that I look at it and think about that, because yeah, it, it gets rid of the fact that slow, like slow start doesn't exist for that Pokemon. It literally is just slower and it's fine. Okay, well, guess this is taken care of, right? Or is there one more that I'm missing? Oh, there's one more that I'm missing. Okay, guess this has a whole team of six. Oh wait, 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 we're fine. We're actually still fine though, because Malfoy. Malfoy, can okay. This is good. This is grand. Um, I needed that. I think that you actually had a full team. Yeah, you had a full team of six. I could have literally looked and seen, but you know, I didn't. I didn't. Yes. Oh my gosh, we flied. We flew on the protect turn. Yes. Uh, oh my gosh, how did we do this? How did we actually just do that right now? Like, I, 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 I can't. I can't fathom the fact that that just happened and we just took care of Getsis like that. This literally sounds like the end of the game. I mean, it kind of is. So, in the next episode of Sogalock, after you guys murder two Pokemon, we'll be t challenging and tackling Victory Road. And then the Elite Four. <sighs> and we have Gonza one more time to boot. This game has been a very exciting game. I've I've had a lot of fun with this game. So it's kind of hard to see it go. It's also hard to know that two team members are going to go away. Um because let's face it, I've developed kind of a weird attachment to these Pokémon so that knowing that two people are going to die and not knowing which one's are gonna die I'm gonna be stewing for the next couple days because I'm recording this on Sunday episode goes out on Monday which I know that's not a long time but the, the kill secure is on Tuesday so I still have like three days just do on the fact that it's like what well, Pokemon are gonna be dying like what do I have to do or how do I have to go about it um, I've loved the series this is literally like been super fun and i'm super excited to carry on with the next bunch of episodes um crazy enough the marathon's almost over um how i kept up and actually did well and did the thing that i needed to do i'm there's a lot to be proud of i'm just gonna be honest there's a lot to be proud of i'm very happy um about where this is going how this is happening and heading into gen 6 is gonna be fun it's gonna be a different form of fun Crazy.